Today, I am traveling into the city of London in England. I plan to explore and draw the Freemasons Hall in London, which is the headquarters of the United Grand Lodge of England. It is considered to be the oldest Masonic Grand Lodge in the world, together with the Grand Lodge of Scotland and the Grand Lodge of Ireland. It is located in Great Queen Street between Holborn and Common Garden and has been a Masonic meeting place since 1775. Parts of the building are open to the public daily. As I arrived at the location to draw the Freemason Hall, it was unfortunately going through some repair works on the exterior of the building and I was informed by staff that this will not be completed till January next year. So I decided not to draw the building but just to explore the interior of it. At the Freemasons Hall in the North Gallery you can explore the past three centuries of Freemasonry history. There is plenty of interesting things to see here in both galleries displaying a variety of artifacts and art. There are many beautiful stained glass windows which were gifts from other Freemason lodges. The Freemasons Hall Library is a beautiful original art deco library and archives. There is also a Freemasons Hall gift shop and cafe and bar. Freemasonry is one of the oldest social and charitable organisations in the world. Its roots lie in the traditions of medieval stonemasons who built our cathedrals and castles. People from all backgrounds can join the organisation. They are men's lodges and women's lodges. Freemasons use four important guiding principles to help define their path through life. They are integrity, friendship, respect and charity. And I quite like that. It's about empowering the individual to live their best life while helping others at the same time. This is the Grand Master's Throne built in 1791, used by King George IV and also the Prince of Wales when he was Grand Master in the 1790s.
the building is quite large and I did get lost walking down the long corridors. I was found by staff and was told I was not meant to be in this section. I was then guided back to the Freemason Hall shop and cafe. Even though I didn't manage to draw the building, I still enjoyed exploring the interior of the building and I look forward to my return. Thank you for watching my video. Please like, comment and subscribe to my channel. And tune in next Wednesday for the next video. Take care. Peace.